Good day and welcome to another episode of Drew's Book Reviews. Today we get to do our third quarter book haul. So this will cover books that I've purchased or received in July, August, and September. So stay tuned, that is coming right up on this quarter's book haul. All right, so just before we get into the book haul, make sure you hit that that like button, make sure you subscribe, comment down below, join me on the Discord, which will be linked below, as well as my bookstagram. So it's book haul time. Let's take a look and see what books I have acquired in the months of June, July, and August. July, August, and September for this quarter's book haul. And looking at the books that I've, I've acquired here and purchased, it looks like I've had a really big focus this time around on science fiction books, which I noticed is pretty much all the books I've re received or purchased since then. Not entirely science fiction, but definitely some, mostly science fiction with this book haul. So the first book that on this book haul list that I have purchased is Dune, Navigators of Dune. So this is part of the Dune Expanded Universe books by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. The Navigators are certainly a interesting guild in the Dune universe. And of course, as we all know, Dune movie is coming out uh, pretty soon. Now I'm probably going to get back and reread the original Dune series at some point, probably not before the movie comes out though I know many are doing that. I'm really excited for the movie. I love the Dune universe. Now, I definitely do get why a lot of people don't seem to like the expanded universe. I find I'm still enjoying it, albeit I admit it is not as good as the original Dune material that was out there by Frank Herbert. But this is definitely still going to be a good read. I'm sure of it because I have enjoyed the other Dune expanded universe books that have come out. So Navigators of Dune, was one of the first ones that I had purchased. Now, one of the other books that I got received is actually found this at a local sharing library. It is a science fiction Hall of Fame anthology book set. This was at a local sharing library, which is kind of one of those, you know, take a book, leave a book type deal. I saw this and I thought, wow, science fiction Hall of Fame, volumes one, two A and two B. Um, I have no idea what these stories are about. It's an anthology collection, a bunch of short stories that are supposedly from some of the greatest science fiction writers of all time. Probably get to it next year, who knows? Um, you know, they're just pretty plain covers, nothing too fancy there, but yeah, let's guess we'll see what that's all about. That wasn't actually the only books I picked up from that. I also picked up a set of books by Piers Anthony. So this is Incarnations of Immortality series. So we've got on a Pale Horse, which is the first book in that series, followed up by Bearing, Bearing an Hourglass, as well as With a Tangled, with a tangled Skeen, Skeen, S-K-E-I-N, Skeen. I read that as Skin initially, but Skeen, I guess we'll find out what Skeen is all about. Wielding a Red Sword would be book four in the Incarnations of Immortality, as well as Being a Green Mother, book five. And then we also, of course, have book six, For, for Love of Evil, and finally, book seven, And Eternity. Piers Anthony is known to be a well-known, popular, classic science fiction writer. I don't actually recall if I read anything by Piers Anthony before. I think there is a, his Adept series. I have read that, actually. But it's been a really long time since I've read any Piers Anthony books whatsoever that'll be maybe sometime next year i don't know i've got a pretty big to be red pile right now so i have no idea when i'm going to get to that and then up next on the science fiction is adrian Tchaikovsky. this is a two book series so far at least i think it's only two books anyway it's won the arthur c clark award for science fiction so and I've heard good things. We got Children of Time and Children of Ruin. So from what I understand, this is supposed to be some kind of, you know, what they would, I guess we'd call a space opera type deal. Big spectacular universe, who knows? Love the cover cover art on this though. I mean, honestly, I saw these books, I'd heard about these books, but didn't hear anything at all about them. I honestly ended up buying them because of the covers. <laughs> so, uh, although if I hadn't heard of Adrian Tchaikovsky before or these books, maybe I wouldn't have bought them, bought them at the time. I don't know. But anyway, awesome, awesome covers. 
And then that's not it. I opted to get the Revelation Space Series, or I guess it's the Inhibitor Trilogy is what it's called by Alistair Reynolds. So of course we got Revelation Space is the first one in this series, followed up by Redemption Arc, second book in this series, and Absolution Gap, third book in this series. Revelation Space, I've been hearing so much about this. This is another one of those grand epic space opera type book series that uh, I've been hearing about on booktube and I am really looking forward to getting to the, these ones it just sounds amazing and I definitely can't wait to read these ones but uh, again it's going to be a while because my to be red pile is so big like massive there you go the revelation space series on or by Alistair Reynolds the inhibitor trilogy as I guess it's called that will be a good and fun read. And of course, following up The Martian by Andy Weir, I had to pick up Project Hail Mary. This one, like The Martian, has had nothing but praise all over BookTube. And I am really looking forward to this. It is definitely more of a hard sci-fi from what I've heard versus the soft sci-fi. Um, but yeah, this is a follow-up to The Martian and I absolutely love The Martian. So I have no doubt I'm going to absolutely love Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I can't wait to get to this. It's going to be awesome just because I've heard so many good things about it. So next up, kind of moving on to the fantasy side of things, the one fantasy, or I've heard it described as fantasy. It's The Gunslinger by Stephen King. I've heard so much about this series. I haven't really read Stephen King, haven't been all that interested in Stephen King, but book two has been talking about Stephen King's Gunslinger and the High Tower, or the Dark Tower. It's just almost non-stop i've been hearing so much about the dark tower series on booktube lately so i thought i'd pick the first one up give it a try see if i like it before i invest in the entire series because generally i haven't been a big stephen king fan hasn't really kind of been the kind of book that i'm generally interested in but i've been hearing a lot of good things about the dark tower so i picked up the gunslinger by stephen king next up is the secret eye i've already done a review on this one actually so you can check that out on my channel this was a book that was sent to me by the author for a honest review it is a book that is set during world war ii and focusing on the battles between japanese japan and america during world war ii uh, so I, I enjoyed it um, i wouldn't say it was an amazing book but it wasn't bad as well especially if you're into that world war ii uh, type of story and the events of World War II it was great because I learned a little bit of history about World War II that I didn't maybe know before. Overall, I did enjoy it. Uh, I think there's some things that I think could have been done, done a little bit better maybe, but like I said, overall enjoyed this one. So check out my review. I'll try to remember to link that below for my review on The Secret Eye by Brad Hansen. And the last book on this book haul is a nonfiction book that I picked up called Cosmic Queries. So this is by Neil deGrasse Tyson with James Treffel, Star Talk's Guide to Who We Are, How We Got Here, and Where We're Going. Uh, so if you've been following this channel, you know that I'm trying to do one nonfiction read per month. So I'm trying to make sure that I keep up enough nonfiction on my To Be Read pile to make that goal. And so far, I've been doing pretty well. I've got nonfiction reads planned well into 2022 at this point. So I'm looking forward to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos, as it says right on the back there. And this is also a really nice uh, edition of this book. Like, I love the cover. And Neil deGrasse Tyson is certainly well known for being a fantastic science educator. I'm looking forward to getting to this probably again. All these books will likely be sometime next year because my TBR is just that big. But there you have it. There is my book haul, my Q3 book haul for July, August, and September. And I definitely look forward to sharing with you my Q4 book haul at some point in December, where we take a look at what I collected in October, November, and December. So there you, there you have, there's my book haul. Let me know what you thought below. Have you read any of these books? Did you like them? Please keep the comments spoiler free if you can, um, because I haven't read any of these and other people watching may not have read them as well. So there you have it, there's my book haul. Actually, <laughs> <clears throat> almost forgot before we wrap it up all quiet on the western front this was another one from a free local library so i did pick this one up a historical fiction as well so yeah another classic so we'll see how i like it i find classics tend to be hit and miss with me so all's quiet on the western front will be one of the ones that is now on my tbr pile war novel never really been super big on war novels but 
We'll see how this one goes. So all quiet on the Western Front. Historical fiction. We'll see how I like that. All right. So now that officially wraps up my Q3 book haul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join me down on the Discord where we could have a great conversation about all these awesome books. You could also join me on my Bookstagram. And of course, until next time, as always, keep on reading. Bye.